So in this video, I'm going to describe the difference between a common source single exposure outbreak and a common source multiple or continuous exposure outbreak. As a reminder, a common source outbreak means that there is a single source of exposure that is getting a bunch of people sick. Examples include a beach where the water is contaminated, a pool or drinking water source where the water is contaminated, a particular food at a restaurant or picnic that is contaminated, or a food handler that is sick in depositing a pathogen on the food people are eating. Single exposure means that there's a single incident where the exposure occurs. In this case, exposure happens over a short and defined period of time. Since people were exposed around the same time, people also then tend to get sick around the same time. The time between when people get exposed and when they get sick is the incubation period. When you plot the epidemic curve or the number of people sick against time, you tend to see a cluster of cases because most people get sick around the same time. Since there is a short defined exposure period, the epidemic curve for a single exposure outbreak gives valuable information about the incubation period of the infectious agent. A multiple or continuous exposure outbreak means that the common source is exposing people to an infectious agent over a prolonged period of time. This period of time will last until the problem is fixed. Common examples include an issue with a particular water supply such as a well with contaminated water. When this happens, exposure is more spread out over time. People are also likely to be exposed multiple times, increasing the chance they will become sick. As a result, the time when people become sick is also more spread out. The epidemic curve for a common source multiple exposure outbreak is more spread out because people are becoming exposed and subsequently sick over a more spread out period of time. Since there is no single defined exposure event for everyone that gets sick, the incubation period is difficult to determine from this epidemic curve. So to recap, the x-axis of the epidemic curve is time. The y-axis of the epidemic curve is the number of sick people. When the outbreak is common source single exposure, cases tend to cluster together. If the timing of the exposure is known, the curve can provide valuable information about the incubation period of the agent. When the outbreak is common source multiple exposure, exposure tends to be more spread out, and so the timing of people becoming sick is also more spread out. 